Hello everyone, it is Doc Hitchcock back again with some more puzzles. And today we are going to be looking at a puzzle called the Cola Conundrum Puzzle. I'm going to try to solve this today. And as always, I do these videos because my dad loves to watch them. So, hey dad, how are you doing? And let's get into this puzzle. All right, so this puzzle here looks just like a Coca-Cola machine. And, uh, you know, of course, they, they stayed away from too much of the branding. They didn't want to get sued. But if you look at it pretty closely, you can see that uh, it has these different buttons that are different colors, I guess, to signify, I guess, you know, the different types of soda you would get. Um, you have a little coin slot there to put your money into, place where the uh, soda would come out. And you can see there's little clues as to potentially how we would solve some of these puzzles. You have a little dot here that looks like there's a little opening that probably goes, something goes there. You have a little button here. You have a little black piece there that might be something. Uh, you can see that when I put it upside down, you can see that the uh, puzzles, came, uh, these little pieces all came out in different heights, which I don't know what that means yet, but you can see there's a little seam here. So that probably means that this comes off the front somehow. And then I think I already pointed out that button there. So if we, oh, see now that's already, okay, so that got stuck a little bit. So you can push each, oh, so when I push this, it seems like, okay, so the, the outlet here, gets pushed in by the grape soda button and it comes out, okay? So we already have uh, potentially a tool. So, the real question is, what does this do? So I imagine, let's see, let's say something metal. I don't know if you can see that, but there, it looks like there's something metal um, underneath that plug, like it was glued in there. And so I'm wondering if it's a magnet. Oh, right there, you can feel it, hear that? So there's definitely a magnet in here and it's, there's definitely a magnet in there. No, that, so I was trying to see if I push, I can push this button while I'm doing the magnet thing, but it doesn't seem to move in. Oh, oh. Actually, it released it, so it's not a button, it's actually a little hidden passage. And there's a little green thing in there. Oh, and it comes out. Oh, it's a dollar bill. Look at that, a little dollar bill. <laughs> and I bet you anything that we, uh, oop, that went back in, but I bet you anything that that goes into this slot here. Oh, and there's like a little spring in there, so. That must do something, let's see. Okay, it doesn't really change. So these all still come out at different heights. I should have probably paid attention whether that was different before, but. Okay, well, so that's where it came out now. So let's put them all back in and maybe put the color bill in there and then, no, they all basically do the same thing, so. So I'm wondering if that dollar bill has something to do with this. I mean, no soda's coming out. So I push it all the way in. Oh, okay, so let's see if I can. Okay, so there, I can't see if it's doing anything. No, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Maybe it depends on which way it's facing, like the other one. You know, I just realized I did not read the instructions that came with. <laughs> I was so eager to get started. So it says, Cola Conundrum. Thirsty, buy yourself a drink from the cola machine. Any tools needed will be provided. No force, spinning, or banging necessary. Wonderful. I hate spinning puzzles and I hate banging puzzles. 
This puzzle contains small pieces which may appear suddenly. It is recommended to solve over a flat surface. Pieces could present a choking hazard. This puzzle is not intended for children. Good luck. All right, so you're basically doing it correct. So um, just continue as we were. So pushing the dollar bill into this money slot here. And let's see if I, if I do it on this side. Because you can see here, there's a little uh, slot right, there's right at the edge there, it's, it looks like it, maybe it's starting to come open or something. So I don't know if it was like that to begin with, but let's see if I can. Okay, so it sounds like there's some sort of pin in there that when I put that there, it lifts it up. So I'm assuming that I don't need to move it around. But then, do I need to pull one of these maybe? What was that? It sounded like something dropped. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So this little ball bearing came out. Was this what was attached? Let's see. Okay. So I think that's what we were we were capturing. Is this little ball bearing? Um, it's attracted to this magnet here on the plug outlet thing. So that's great and all, but then is that the, that's not the cola, is it? I don't think that's the cola. So mm -hmm. I put it here. Oh, okay. So that actually does, when I put that ball bearing on the top there and I push down, it does do something. It, there's a spring there. Okay, so there's a spring there, but then what does that do? Let's see. Oh. Push that down. Okay. All these still come out. So I haven't really used any of these buttons other than the um, purple one at the very beginning. So I don't know if this has anything to do with this next step, but if you look under in the slot where the soda is supposed to come out, there's like a little, you can see there's like a trap door or something in there. And I'm wondering if that's what I'm supposed to, cause this other little, uh, there's like a other little tunnel in the way in the back there, that's where the ball bearing came out of. So I'm thinking that the soda is gonna come out of I don't want to, I'm like doing what I do, uh, doing what people do when they want to get their snacks out and then they get their arms stuck. I'm about to do that with my pinky. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, unless it comes out from further up top there. I imagine I need to use a dollar to get the soda out, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what these buttons have to do with anything right now. I mean, they're all basically coming out the same, except for this diet soda colored one.
I got a cola. <laughs> I guess it was a mixture of making sure all these buttons were in. Okay, well, I guess, I don't know. I'm a little confused why these all came out so far like this though. I mean, it seems like that has nothing to do with the puzzle, so it's a little bit odd. All right, all right. I don't know what else to say other than um, maybe it was just to throw us off. It seems like maybe they have to be in for the for the soda to come out, and so that's uh, if the kind of you know, equates to kind of pushing the button to get the soda, I don't know. Anyway, well, here's the little soda. Oh, cola. All right. Uh, well, let's see if I can reset this and then we'll talk about it a little bit. See what we thought. All right, and there you have the Cola Conundrum Puzzle by Fortunate Sun Puzzles. All right. So, <clears throat> I will say that this was fun. Some of it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and that's kind of similar to what happened with uh, this other puzzle, the SDTV. Basically, there's just some really cool design elements in both of these puzzles, and we won't talk too much about this because I don't want to, like, spoil it for anybody, but um, you know, there's some really cool design elements. Like, for instance, I really like the idea of having this little miniature Coke machine. I really think that's cool to display. People are going to want to pick it up and play with it. Really great thing about this puzzle is there's nothing that broke at all, at least to my knowledge. It seemed like everything was able to be moved around and, and fiddled with with very little risk of breaking anything. I still don't quite understand. Like there's still that little door right here in the up here that didn't do anything. And so I'm left with this kind of like sneaking suspicion that I didn't quite finish it even though I got the Coke can out. And so maybe I'll uh, look online and see if anybody else has something to say about that. But um, the other thing was I was like super interested to see like whether I could decipher why these buttons came out at certain lengths and such, but it didn't seem like there was anything that had nothing to do with the puzzle. It just left me a little bit unsatisfied and confused because when there's something that you see in a puzzle like that, it makes no sense why you would have like some of them come out more than others. And uh, maybe it had something to do with how the Coke fell out and I just did it automatically and didn't know. But anyway, I would say, that overall was, it was fun, but uh, it left me a little unsatisfied with some of those questions, whether I actually finished it or not. If anybody knows, let me know. Hi everyone. So yes, I did contact the makers of the puzzle. And it turns out that I did inadvertently miss the purpose of the buttons on the soda dispenser. The buttons were actually an internal maze for that ball bearing to go from the top all the way down to the dispenser. For some reason, I was able to get that ball bearing all the way through that maze inadvertently. I didn't mean to, it was just through the manipulation of the puzzle that I was able to do that. And so that made me miss out on that whole facet of the puzzle, which left me a little unsatisfied. And so I did want to interrupt the video <laughs> since I was editing it, because it seemed like I. I ended it on a little bit of a bad note, and the fact is it was still a fun puzzle. I just wasn't as enthusiastic because I was a little confused because it seemed like I had missed a big part of the puzzle, and I did. So there you go. That's what it was for, and back to the video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and feel free to like and subscribe. And until the next one, I will see you later. Goodbye for now.